India has experienced a technological revolution in recent years. From government services to groceries being delivered at home, everything is accessible online. As the Indian government digitized the financial system and economy, digital payments grew steadily. Within six years of its launch, the Unified Payment Interface UPI, has not only disrupted the country's digital payments landscape but also gained global recognition. With the UPI being connected to PayNow, Indians can now send money to their friends, co-workers and relatives in Singapore via digital payment systems like Google Pay and Paytm. The linking of two real-time payment systems which enables quicker and more affordable money transfers was witnessed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Singapore colleague Lee Seeing Loong. India's mobile-based fast payment system UPI allows users to make instant payments round the clock using a virtual payment address. Cross-border fund transfers are typically more expensive and less traceable than domestic ones. India and Singapore came together in order to allow residents of both the countries to enable the faster and more cost-efficient transfer of money. This linkage is considered to be a significant milestone that closely aligns with the G20's financial inclusion priorities of making cross-border transactions more transparent and cheaper. It is to mention here that India is hosting the highly anticipated G20 which is based on the rotational membership structure. The country has invited Singapore even though it is not a G20 member to participate in the summit. It is expected to benefit the Indian diaspora in Singapore, particularly migrant workers and students who typically sacrifice about 10% of the amount as bank fees for money transfers. India has signed MOUs with over 13 countries that want to adopt the UPI for digital payments. According to the PM office, the latest initiative could serve as a model for establishing similar infrastructure for cross-border payments between India and Asian countries. Indian users won't have to battle any longer to send money abroad.